Good morning. Good morning, Edward. Say good morning. <laughs> Today we woke up really, really early because we planned a road trip, a uh, day trip <laughs> from Marrakesh to what's it called? Waza. Waza. Yeah. Uh, so there are basically uh, a few uh, stops on the way there. It's, uh, it's uh, like the gateway to the desert, the closest one uh, near Marrakesh. And as I said, we have a few stops on the way there. We have to cross the mountains. These are the Atlas Mountains. And this uh, first stop is right here in the mountains. It's uh, kind of a crossing. How's it called? Yeah, crossing. In the mountains, one of the highest one uh, in the Atlas Mountains. Um, I'm not sure if this is like the highest spot, but this is a nice cafe with a nice view. But like the road goes uh, up to around, I think, more than uh, 2,000 meters above the sea water in the mountains. So it's really spectacular and the views are really nice. So I'm gonna show you around. Um, it's kind of cold actually. They have a fire started inside. <laughs> And there are some uh, people from other groups because, like, all bus uh, stop, all buses stop here. Um, and they were like wearing uh, t-shirts and uh, shorts, and they were kind of cold. <laughs> like Eddie has his uh, spring jacket on. I'm gonna show you around. I just want to point out that uh, they're building another road here, you see it? And um, every now and then they have to stop their cars because like huge rocks <laughs> start, start to, you know, come down. They basically dig into the uh, mountain, it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we just said wow when we first saw it. Another stop is in this very nice panoramic viewpoint from the top of the mountain. Again, I'm not sure if this is like the highest uh, point where you can stop, but it offers really cool views. And everybody stops here. <laughs> it's a bit windy, so bring, bring a jacket. Another stop is, of course, uh, uh, Argan Oil uh, Factory, or they're called um, Cooperative. Yeah, this is. Uh, they are. They are. They have a bunch of uh, these small factories all over Morocco. Apparently, it's a, you know it's a big thing. I thought it, they only have them on your way to Esaouira to see like to the ocean because that's the area where they grow the argan trees but apparently they also have it here in the mountains so um, I guess that no matter where you go you're not gonna get away without uh, visiting a small argan uh, oil factory. But, but it's tasty, it's, uh, it's the new peanut butter. <laughs>
highlight of this <laughs> the main highlight of this day trip from Marrakesh is the visit to the heritage uh, site called Ait Ben Haldu or I don't know, I'm just gonna put the location here um, can I pronounce it? but this is a famous place of a uh, uh, traditional uh, village on a hill some place near the mountains and the desert in Marrakesh and uh, actually it's so famous that a lot of uh, movies were filmed here including some episodes of what is it called Edward? Game of Thrones yes exactly but not only there are like a bunch of movies um, Akaba, uh, Lawrence of Arabia and uh, others and also after this we're gonna visit uh, um, Wazazate <laughs> yes, which is uh, another famous location for filming movies they have a huge uh, filming studio over there and as I said a lot of movies were filmed around these uh, places now I'm gonna show you the world famous heritage site so when you see the big building with the four towers we call them Kasbas it's belong to the Muslims Berber Muslims family it's like a Muslims neighborhood but in the other side in the left side we have a big neighborhood we call it Limalla it's where they live Berber Jews as well and the last part it's the three towers near to the river they are artificial it's where was a shoot the first movies come to this village okay so please we go all together we go until when we reach the middle of the village there is a nice terrace with a shade they will explain everything there okay yeah, could be so now we are having a debate uh trying to uh, find Figure out what was filmed at lawrence what arabia here. part were filmed here not only lawrence but others but i would guess that yeah eddie is right only the exterior uh Shots. yeah I guess because like it's impressive if you look from afar like it's a citadel on this uh, hill and it's in the desert and, and it's clearly people also wouldn't have been here because it's very hard to get a drink <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get people also. okay thank you <laughs> So here back in the five, uh, 45 kilometers to the Atlas mountain, we have 15 kilometers of salty mines, okay? this pink salt. So always a Jewish they go, they bring it and they use it to do trade and exchange. And it was very expensive a long time ago, more than gold, because it was hard to bring it. And the second reason, there is no cash to pay soldiers or like to do trade, so they pay them by salt. That's why it was very expensive. So in the feet of the mountain there, when they finish trade, they need as well to switch the animals because you know the only animal can cross Sahara is camel or Roma there, so okay? But you cross the Nile. How is that? How is that? And you can see what we call the Kasbah. It's a big building with the four towers. Families, but from the Muslims and the richness they came just because they have a lot of gardens and they have all different kind of grand cereals fruit and vegetables and dates as well 
and that's why there is never problem between Muslims and the Jews. First reason, it was easy to communicate because both of the families they speak Berber language, okay. And the second like reason, they need each other. For example, the families who live in the Kasbas, they have fruit, cereals, dates, olives, vegetables. And the Jews, they have gold, silver, spices, leather slaves, and they do trade kind of trade inside the village. This helped those families to live together in a peace without problem. As well, all the houses you see here, it was made just with the clay and the straw and the wood. So we use always these pigments because it's a, they isolate the house very well. In summertime, when it's hot outside, inside the houses they be cold. And in winter time, when it's cold outside, inside they be warm. But the problem of this architecture, when we have rain, we need always to renovate it. Actually, the constrictions, like the walls, they stay strong. But what we need to renovate, it's this isolation from the outside. It's five centimeters. So always when we have a strong rain, they melt the, the isolation and we need to put it again. And also in the square now, it's empty now. But it's square was it should more than 25 movies. For example, the gladiator arena, it was built there. Vikings also. Vikings. What's that? Eddie, what's your favorite? <laughs> so you can see the roots, they are behind here in the canvas. It's mixed of Greek and ropes, they are here. So to write with this alphabet, it's like an international language from left to the right. And this symbol has a meaning. We have symbol of peace, symbol of easy to communicate. So this guy, he changed the idea and they make the aquarels or like the burning painting. So we will see a small demonstration. He will explain everything. Then you can make video pictures. No problem. So you press the key. One and the most important is tea. Yeah, tea with a lot of sugar. Normally, tea in this area is for right a secret message. For example, when the right is invisible in. Now to see the only the blue and the normal papers like that. But when they move it with the fire, you can see the other color. Yeah, when they move it, they smell the sugar, caramel light. Because lot of sugar in the tea. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, very magic. <laughs> <laughs> and for example, now to see the color, they say it's for color. Yeah, and now to see the black is tea. It is smell cream oil because a lot of sugar in it. And the brown is the saffron, and the blue is indigo. And why actually they want to show you this technique? This technique is only from here. Yeah, just in this area because in the past is how they communicate. How they communicate. And uh, the first uh, material, of course, that we use for our carpets is a light wool from our own chef. So when I talk, because in our Berber uh, tradition, when there is a special, uh, like some celebration or some wedding, the woman they hang a special bed, okay? They kill paradise, tattoos, 
solidarity design. Appearance of women as well, different carpets. Le livre Get to Sign. Je parle aussi sur la façon manuelle, jamais qu'on trouve un tapis qui ressemble à l'autre. This quality, this is another material. So this one is made from maybe if you're about a cactus cell. Ça c'est un soin de cactus. Cactus cell, yes, cactus fiber. You don't have a scarf, Eddie. You need a scarf for your head. No, good luck. I have more scarf. I show you the technique. No. Huh? Everybody wants to sell you a scarf. Adored. This is one of the largest uh, movie studios, studios in, Africa. in Africa, maybe in the world. And uh, most of the movies have you seen any of that them? have a desert in them? I think they were shot somewhere around here, right? That's true. That's true. I'm going to show you this way.